let's begin. It's my birthday today, and uh, 21, legally able to smoke one of these. Let's talk about the whole Pokemane situation. For one, people are mad and upset about her cookies being overpriced. And, you know, that's a fair criticism to make. Here's the issue with it. Like, if people are outraged and upset about it, they can be. You can't be, like, why, why are you mad at someone's upset about it? They, they're allowed to be upset. It's their feelings about the price. Here's the thing. Then Pokemon goes on stream and says, When people are like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven seven dollars a bag i know i know math is hard when you're an idiot but uh, like if you're a broke boy just say so i don't believe her apology saying that it's a joke because if it's a joke you have to state it's a joke come on like she said it in a tone where it sounds serious it sounds like she really means it and she's just trying to be mean because people are poking holes in her her brand and whatnot. So that's the thing. Why are you bad mouthing people for having a problem with the price? It's a bad look on not just you, but also the people you're working with. The company she's working with, that makes them look bad. It's normal for creators to do things like that. Like Ludwig, he made a video about it. And honestly, here's the thing. As neutral as Ludwig was, I think he was trying to stick his neck out for his friend, which is okay. It's just the way I saw it. And you know what? It's, a, it's his friend. Of course he's going to. That's that's ha that's what friends are for. Pokey is not new to controversy. And it is not because she's a woman. If you have that take that a woman is trying to start a business and everyone hates on her. Shut the fuck up. It's not because you're a woman. It's because what you're doing is in bad faith, in my opinion. You're just trying to get the craziest markup imaginable and overselling it. Because think about this, and here, here's math for you, Pokey, by the way. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying to give back the same energy, okay? The math is four bags for $28. You have four ounces per bag, four bags, okay? Four times four is 16. You're selling 16 ounces for $28. What does midnight cookies sell them for? $10 for 14 ounces. You are giving your customers two more ounces than midnight cookies, but you're selling it for $18 more. That's what I don't think you're you're picking up on. I don't care how many bags you give them. You're basically saying, hey, I'm giving you two more ounces. Each ounce that you're getting is $9 more. So, so to sit there and say, it was a joke what you were saying, it didn't sound like it. You, you sounded sincere about it. Her saying what she said, and trying to play it off as a joke is just a PR move, honestly. And I think we all know that. She's just trying to look better and make sure that the company doesn't go to shit because of her. And you know what? I don't hope that the company goes under because of her because that'd be really terrible. I don't think it will. But what's sad to me is your audience is going to support you in what you do. And even if you mess up, your audience is going to be a lot more forgiving. Like Ludwig, Ludwig said, I mean, Mogul Mail, like Mogul Mail says in his video about the situation, your audience is going to be forgiving. And they probably are. They don't really care. My thing is that if a Pokey fan wants to support and pay $28 for 16 ounces worth of cookies, all power to you. Maybe the fan, her actual fans aren't as outraged as everyone else is. If you're a fan of her and you're not outraged and upset about the overpricing of it, I don't know. You'd rather support and waste your money on something that's horrible value for you because, oh, she makes content though. So she, she of course, I'm going to give her some of my support. You don't have to. I have memberships on this channel. And if you want to support it, support it. If you don't want to and you don't think it's worth your money, don't do it. I'm not forcing you. I don't want you to. If you don't feel like it's worth your money. I don't want to just sit here and shit on Pokey. I really enjoy Charlie Penguin Zero. I like his content. Um, I'm a big fan of his. And I've seen them play Among Us when that was the big thing. I used to watch those videos all the time. And you know what? She seemed all right during that. And just interacting with people. She seems like an all right person. But it seems like out of taste and out of touch to sit there and pretend like $7 for a bag of four ounces of cookies is not expensive for you know us common folk and it's hard for content creators to actually be in touch because they're making so much money that it separates it honestly does when you make a lot of money it changes your perspective on money because how much you make for the little effort you do and i've made this channel because i do want to make money on it 
but I also want to enjoy what I'm making because I don't want it to feel like it's just another job. I just hope I never get to that point of being out of touch with how much money something is uh, if I ever create a product because at the end of the day, Pokey's just doing what Mr. Beast did, which is create a product, try to make some money off of that so that you're not always making content because it, it can be draining. There is a frustration um, um, from me. Even though I don't watch her, it does make me upset just how, how she said these things because it does seem really rude. And I understand. She probably got really upset because she's like, she created her, her company and wants to make money off of it. But you can't let your emotions get the better of you and, you know, talk crap on people who are supporting you and like saying that that you're a broke boy calling people broke boy because they don't want to spend seven dollars and four ounces of cookies that's come on that's tasteless what ludwig slash mogul male said in defense of pokey against charlie they took a quote from penguin zero saying that she is talking crap or doing something and the audience is the ones who her career was built off of it's it was built on their backs which is true now mogul male ludwig says that the fans aren't probably the ones who are upset it's people who don't even watch her or support her who are upset and jump on the opportunity to hate on her and you know what if you are someone that just jumps on the opportunity to hate on somebody because you just don't like them it's okay to have people that rub you the wrong way that's normal you're not gonna like everybody but if you're just waiting to hate on someone, come on, that's sad, buddy. You gotta, you gotta find something else to do. But what she did is tasteless. But what, the way Mogul Mail said it and the way I interpreted it, it was kind of saying like, hey, the audience isn't even upset, so people who hate on her, you can't be upset. I kind of understood it that way. He might have not meant it that way, but if that, that's the way I took it when I watched it. And people can be upset if they want to be, you know, like even if like I don't support her stuff, I don't watch her content, but I still think what she's doing is scummy with overpricing her food. It, you know, it's OK to have these takes the immature part of my brain, which uh, keep in mind, I know um, I'm 21 now. That doesn't make me the most mature person, but I still have some immaturity in my brain. There was a part of my brain that was like. Man, how the hell did Pokey even get an audience? How, how do people even wa enjoy watching her? How do people this and that? But I had to take a step back for a second and realize, you know, there's people that enjoy watching me and people who don't like my content. And they're like, how do, how do I have any, any subscribers or people watching me? And you know what? That's fair. Um, I can't I can't make that assumption because like, hey, if people like watching your content, then keep watching your content. If it's right for you, it's right for you. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the overpricing and the white labeling, white labeling is normal. Basically, you take an existing product and you make it your own thing. That's basically what she did. It's not illegal. You basically go to a manufacturer who's already making something like it and make your own thing out of it. I think I want to try those midnight cookies just to actually see what they taste like. Because honestly, if I buy midnight cookies, they're going to be the same as hers. Um, she changed, she added vitamin D. She might be getting different flour or whatnot, like Ludwig said. Hey, that's possible. But more than likely, let's be honest, that's not probably what happened. What probably happened is just copy, paste, mine. You know, why wouldn't you? It's the cheapest way to do it. It's the easiest way to do it and make the most profit out of it. It really goes to show that streamers and content creators a lot of them do separate themselves and get out of touch with reality and what it's like to work because there are content creators who work a normal job and make their content and that's how they have to make a living some people are fortunate enough like pokey to be donated a bunch of money it's little amounts at a time sometimes it can be big but little amounts at a time and make millions doing what she does which i'm not too familiar with I, I know she mainly streams she plays valorant and a few other games has fun i don't think there's any other point in history where someone could be in their room record themselves and make millions the people who are fortunate enough to do that i think they do take it for granted one person uh that really stuck their neck out i think for pokey hassan abi hassan he he really stuck his neck out for her and charlie's chat was telling charlie that um hassan said this hassan said that and almost like trying to bring bad blood between the two and charlie's an amazing person he's wholesome he doesn't think hassan would say such a thing he might have been going a little against penguin zero because he has a different opinion um and you know everyone does he's someone that i'm gonna make a video on too um him and the will and willie mac show if you want to see that um it'll be next week's video and that's what i'm working on one thing i'm gonna be working on so stay tuned for that 
but he stuck his neck out for her and it's crazy because i've seen some comments and they were basically saying it it's crazy how the most socialist supporting streamer or content creator constantly supports capitalism when their friends benefit off of it i thought that was silly i thought i thought that was kind of funny it seems kind of true because i mean what she's doing is capitalist things making a company making a bunch of money from it big profit and that is capitalism for you I'm not trying to make any enemies with any content creators i doubt I'm, i'll be on their radar my take is pokey is overpricing her cookies and i hope she drops the price to compare the mina or mina cookies to midnight cookies i'd love i'd love to actually compare them but i don't want to pay 28 dollars for four for 16 ounces that just seems overpriced it's a mix of i don't think it's one way or the other i don't think it's black and white with what she did i think that it was a heat in the moment type of thing to say uh she's angry so she said it to get it off her chest but i also think she really meant it i think she meant it at the same time for one if that's supposed to be sarcasm you didn't hit the nail on the head or that was supposed to be a joke it didn't land to make it land uh, and just be clear you could be like um if you're a broke boy just say so this and that laugh about it and then be like i'm joking by the way i don't mean that you can do that too pokey if you're making a joke make it clear make it a good one i know i don't always make the best ones no one does it doesn't seem like a joke it, it seems like you're hiding behind it saying it's a joke for pr reasons I honestly agree with Charlie's take the most out of anyone's. Hassan seems like he's really trying to really defend Pokey, and that's neither here nor there. Ludwig is pretty neutral. He seems to be leaning a little more towards trying to support her, because, uh, but he does acknowledge that what she did was bad taste, not a good look, and he knows that's a fact. Everyone knows that's a fact. I'll go ahead and tell you this now. It is not the end of Pokey. For her supporters are too strong to lose people because of that, and a lot of her supporters are people who think that they have some type of relationship with her. That's the reality of it. We can't sit and pretend it's not. But Charlie's take is like it really seems like charlie is calling out what he sees and it seems like a good friend thing to do i don't know if they're friends or not but he's like hey what you did was not good it's when you're serious with your friend you have to bring them back to reality like what are you doing that that is that is not okay that seems like what charlie was doing and that's why i like it i think it's the most uh direct and serious take on it if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment subscribe join the channel if you'd like to if you join the channel it's a direct way of supporting me uh, i don't have a patreon just channel membership if you want to support this channel thank you have a good one